On his latest song, Busi Badaz slams Kodak Black and claims that Kodak Black is the source of his name. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Kodak Black and Busi Badez are now officially engaged in a wax battle over the latter's work with 6 x 9 and E. Additionally, Yak was the target of the diss tune Ungrateful on the 40-year-old rapper's most recent album Going Through Some Things. Busi discussed the Florida artist's street cred, their prior interactions, and how Kodak got his name from him in the final round of bars. Although he doesn't appear to identify his adversary by name, the song's lyrics make it very clear that it is a diss track nonetheless. Additionally, it is obvious that the Baton Rouge MC intended to make a strong first impression because this this is the opening tune on the new album. Boosie Badaz asserted that Kodak Black's street cred is gone and that he doesn't actually practice what he preaches in his music. I've been going through some shit, man, this shit done got deep. Gotta realize everybody ain't you how the fuck you do that when you represent the streets. Streets made you and the streets made me. If you ask BG, you was on PC. The name that you got, I think you got that from me, he raps. Your fans all mad acting like they can't see. Your street cred gone. Don't blame me shit, your homeboy right? You ain't living like that. Everything that you rap, you ain't never did that. Cause the other end talking, he is certified rat. Your code fendant been give me your paperwork. I gave you a video and verse for the free. When you was Trina pay bitch, I'm a G thought Turk felt the same way. Cause we all from the same place. On the single Shaka Laka in July, Kodak Black and 669 and E formed an unusual partnership. Since then, the music video has received over 27 million views on YouTube. Busi Badaz expressed his displeasure with Kodak Black teaming up with Takashi before the song's release. Nevertheless, the 26-year-old has engaged in other disputes as a result of his collaboration with 6 x 9 and E. It is, however, unquestionably the most well-known, is intensifying, and is most likely to continue for some time. Even still, one might say the same about their two boisterous and outspoken personalities if they disputed about which chip flavor was the greatest. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.